The Legion Go has made a name for itself with its detachable wireless controllers, and they claim in the manual you can connect these to other Windows computers. So let's give that a whirl and see what happens. Connecting the controllers to another computer are pretty simple. With the right controller, we're going to hit the Legion button and the X button, and we're going to hold it for a few seconds until the RGB starts blinking. And then we're going to go add that in the Bluetooth settings. And there's one done. We're going to take the other controller and we're going to do the Legion button and the left D-pad. Hold it for a few seconds. And now we can go ahead and connect the other one as well. And let's fire up Device Manager and Gamepad Tester to see what we got. So under Device Manager, we're going to see that it doesn't show up as an Xbox 360 controller. But if we head over to Hid Devices, we're going to see that there's two options in there. There's a HID game controller, and then there's also the Bluetooth X input controller driver as well. So I believe this is using the same driver that the Xbox One controllers use, the new ones that connect via Bluetooth. And now we're going to turn it sideways and test the input, and we're going to see that it's actually kind of set up like a Joy-Con already. B becomes A, Y becomes B, and so forth. And we're going to notice that the back buttons are now the L, B, and R, B. So they kind of already configured it like a Joy-Con. And if we take a look at the other controller, we're going to see the same situation, right? So if I move the joystick around, we're going to see that it's like a Joy-Con. And the D-pad left is now A, and down is B. So once again, same setup like a Joy-Con. Let's fire up a game and test these out. So I've got Pac-Man 256 here, and it's a pretty simple game. All we really need is A and the joystick. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set it up as multiplayer here. Now remember the D-pad left is now A, and I've already set up player 2, and we can see that, yeah, they both work as independent controllers. This opens up whole new possibilities for these controllers outside of the Legion Go. And I know the end game would be that Lenovo makes a dongle that makes these controllers compatible with any PC. And we get all the features that we do, customizations, like we do on the Legion Go. But for now we don't have that. So we have to make do with what we can. But with this Bluetooth mode and some software, we can get a lot of those features back. The first thing I would like to see is to combine both of these controllers into one Xbox controller. Kind of like what we do with the Legion Go. I did try some software like Read WASD and Input Mapper, but I wasn't able to get it to work as one Xbox controller. I do have the technical expertise to program something that would combine them, and that's something that I will work on in my spare time. The other thing I'd like to see is custom button mapping for these Joy-Cons. Now, this works for Pac-Man 256, but it's not going to work for all multiplayer games. Being able to customize the mapping would really help out. A few more tips regarding the controller. To turn it off, just long press the button here for about 7 seconds. And it turns off. And to turn it back on, long press the Legion button. To reconnect it to your Legion Go, just pop it back in. So where do we go from here? Well, I'm going to work on some software to combine these two controllers into one Xbox 360 controller. I've already started working on it. After that, the other thing I'd like to work on is the custom button mapping for the individual Joy-Con setup. Uh, that's something I also have the technical expertise to do and would like to implement. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe. Go check me out on Twitter or X at Lenovo Legion Go. And thanks for watching.